What's going on, y'all? Hey, today we're going to be talking about honesty and how it should play a critical walk as we grow closer to Christ. I'm also going to tell you about a little boy that was too honest for his own good and he got in a little bit of trouble, as well as I'm going to tell you my feelings on why I believe so much that the Gospels are true because of honesty, why I know that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, uh, raised from the dead in three days. Hey, we're going to cover all of that in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to this week's Wednesday's Word. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Ray with Second Chance Rising. And whether you found us here because of the music or some of the rig rundowns or gear reviews or for our ministry, we're glad that you're here. Hope that you'll stick around, consider subscribing and liking this video. Today we're talking about honesty. And what does honesty cost? Well, I can tell you what it costs a little boy. Little boy was in school one day and the teacher asked him, he said, hey, what is your favorite animal? He said, fried chicken. The teacher said, well, that's not very funny. Well, he kind of thought it was funny because the whole class laughed. Well, he ended up finding himself in the principal's office. The principal kind of laughed and kind of chuckled when he found out what went on, and he just told the boy to go back to class and not to do it anymore. You know, when he got home, he told his father what had happened. His father said, oh, that teacher's probably a member of PETA. She loves animals a lot. Well, so do we. We like chicken, poultry, and beef. Well, the next day, the young man was sitting in class again, and the teacher asked him, he said, what is your favorite live animal? He said, chicken. She asked him, why chicken? Well, because you can fry chicken. Well, that didn't lead him into get him out of any trouble. He ended up finding himself back in the uh, principal's office again. The principal kind of chuckled, sent the boy back to class, told him not to do it again. You know, the little boy said, I don't understand this. You know, my parents always taught me to be honest, always told me to tell the truth, and everybody seems to be in agreement with that except for my teacher. Well, the teacher on this third day when he was in class asked him, who's the person that you admire the most? And the little boy said, Colonel Sanders. Well, guess where he's at now? You know, all jokes aside, you know, Paul went to prison for telling the truth. Jesus died on the cross for telling the truth. We can certainly agree that the scripture and what God wants us to do to be better Christians is always to be honest and always to tell the truth. You know, Jesus said this in the uh, Gospel of John in chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You know, obviously telling the truth and being honest is a big part in our walk with Christ. You know, it's one of the big parts of why I believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead. Uh, when I read the eyewitness accounts from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John from some of the Gospels, and I look at some of people always say follow the science, and I look at some of the archaeology uh, stuff that's been proven from that time period, and it matches up with their writings. And you can even look at other writings outside of the Bible, like the Dead Sea Scrolls or even the Quran. Uh, from what I understand, the Quran even mentions Mary, Jesus' mother, more times in the Bible. You know, when you put all that together, then you look at the honesty of the disciples, of the, the writings in the gospel. It's why I believe so much. And you can say, well, Ray, I don't understand that. You know, Peter lied, denied knowing Jesus three times when he's dying on the cross. And that is true, but that was before the resurrection. You know, Peter was scared, admittedly scared. And he wasn't fully bought in. I guess the disciples were human just like we are. We sin, and sometimes we may even deny knowing Christ, or we act like we deny knowing Christ, or sometimes it's not what we say, it's but what we don't say. But then after that resurrection, after all the disciples met with Jesus, spent time with him, after the resurrection, they were all in. As a matter of fact, they were so honest that the majority of them, I think there was one that maybe died without a martyr. If you know that, uh, leave a comment down below. But, you know, they all died for the most part a martyr, standing up, spreading the gospel, teaching uh, the story of Jesus, dying on the cross for our sins, raised from the dead, leaving us that gift of salvation. Can you be any more honest than that? You know, when you think about all those men, all those disciples and other followers, too, that were willing to die for what they believed in and for what they witnessed, for what they seen, that honesty convinces me that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, rose from the dead in three days to offer us the gift of salvation. Hey, if you're here today and you don't know Jesus is your personal Savior, I hope that you'll dig into God's Word and other books and Scripture and, and find out more about Him. Talk to some people. Get to know Him. 
Uh, make a decision for yourselves. You know, I spoke with many atheists that went out to, to prove that the Bible wasn't true and, and some of these things couldn't have existed, only to find that they became such dedicated and devout Christians spreading the gospel to this day. Hey, we hope that you enjoy this video. And if you did, I hope that you'll consider subscribing, liking the video. Hey, we love you and God loves you. Keep looking up. We'll see you next week.